a brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game based off of The Last Ronin. I'm freaking excited, man. I'm a Turtles fan. I, I really enjoyed The Last Ronin, and I highly recommend, if you haven't read it yet, to go ahead and grab a copy. It concluded around this time last year, and then they put out like the complete set, like a hardbound copy uh, during the summer. You can easily find it for around 20 bucks or so. And it's a very dark story. And when I saw this news, I was like, hell yeah, man. Like after finishing reading The Last Ronin, one of my thoughts was, is like, this would make a great freaking movie. It's not really extremely kid friendly, but you know, if you got like teenagers and stuff, I, I do think this is fine for them. But youngsters, you know, not really the style for them. It's more adult. You know, it's it's very dark. Some of the themes in the the you know the issues here are kind of you know for more mature minds, I guess. But if you're not aware of the story, a little bit of spoilers here. So the last Ronin, I do want to read what they're talking about, what the style of the game is, the information that we have. But just to give you kind of a little bit of a, a spoiler here, I'm not going to go into great detail. Just kind of like, hey, what this is about. So last Ronin. Uh, there's one final Ninja Turtle. The other three brothers died. Splinter's dead. Casey Jones is dead. Just the way everything went down was just ridiculous. And yeah, there's some cliche stuff in it. It's a comic book, man. I mean, you kind of have to expect it, but I still think it was very well done. But the final turtle, he has all their weapons, all, all his brother's weapons. And, you know, at one point he's going to give up, but... Yeah, you know, he, he survives his attempt, right? And uh, he winds up going after the one who was uh, responsible for all this. Like Splinter and one of the uh, other turtles, they had traveled to Japan to, to meet with the Foot Clan and, you know, that whole thing to talk peace. And to me, it was like, if you know this is a possible setup, why wouldn't you be on the extreme prepared side of things? And they kind of were prepared. They kind of knew, like, ah, oh, you know, this may be a setup. Who knows? But we got our, you know, we're going to have our faith that this is legit. And then, you know, it, it just, it, it turns into a big shit storm. And everybody dies. And, you know, the other turtles who are in New York, they're going against uh, Stockman and uh, Karai. And, you know, the Foot Clan and whatnot. And uh, Stockman blows up, like, this huge armada of Mausers and just destroys everybody one of the turtles is fighting cry just brutally dies it's it's just crazy it's a very graphic uh uh comic but you know the final turtle he's going after um hiroto which is shredder's grandson and who's the one who's responsible for all this and just everybody that he fights along the way the people he meets uh you know april o'neil and her daughter casey <laughs> You know, they she was married to, you know, Casey Jones. They had a kid. And then the stuff that you find out about the daughter and the exposure that she's had to the mutagen and stuff like that. It, it's interesting, man. It's interesting. And the conclusion just leaves you like, man, what the hell, dude? Like, how are they going to continue from here? And then you you read the, you know, the final pages and you're just like, hmm, this is this is this is interesting yet odd. And then with the the you know lost years, when you start reading those, like I said, I believe it's only two issues right now. You're like, oh, curious to see where this goes. So I kind of would hope they would incorporate this all into the game. But in this article, I know a lot of people have been reporting it, or sites have been reporting it. But Nintendo Life here, they're saying that uh, Doug Rose and Paramount Global Senior Vice President for Games and Emerging Media confirmed in an interview with Polygon that this game was going to be coming out. It's in development. I don't think they said who's actually working on it, so that could be up in the air. I'm really hoping it's somebody who will do this, like, property justice. But Rosen, it, it says down here, states that the game, which is inspired by recent third-person action RPGs, like God of War, will be authentic to the last Ronin's more mature style. This is a graphic novel that isn't for kids. Like I said, it's not, yeah, I I would say 13 and older can grasp it as long as your kid's not like, you know, kind of, you know, lost. Like they understand reality and, 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 you know, more mature themes type of thing. Um, it would be fine, but younger kids, yeah, not, not so much. Uh, but it goes on the state, but it's an absolutely outstanding one that's beloved by Turtle fans. 
There are plenty of projects going on. We suspect the rumored 2023 title isn't the last Ronin. Those are all the details we have so far, and it's a stark departure from the color colorful pixel pixel art beat 'em up Shredder's Revenge. That's for sure. But we're extremely intrigued. I'm intrigued as well. Rosen said that more details in the last Ro uh, Ronin will be shared in the future, but it seems this one might be a while off. That kind of sucks, man. It is going to be a little while. I'm extremely excited to see what they do with it because, like, like in the series, in these issues, I'm not going to get into any more story stuff with it. You know, if you skip the kind of spoilers that I talked about, the not in-depth spoilers. I didn't even mention who the turtle was, and you find that out uh, pretty early on. But uh, in, in the, 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 the story, like, there's kind of flashbacks jumping around. And I could see where in the game, they could follow the comic, like, from beginning to end. And you play as, you know, the, the main turtle, but then there, there could be flashbacks where you're playing as, like, uh, you know, Casey Jones or April O'Neil or, you know, any of the other turtles. And, and you know, the, with Splinter in Japan doing that battle, the uh, last Ronin when, you know, he leaves to, to Japan and all that. Like, there's all sorts of stuff where there could be so much of a mix here. And I would be fine with, hey... You're not just playing as the last Ronin. There will be some flashbacks where you play as somebody else. And I think I would enjoy that. Like if they had where you could build the character or build any of the other characters. Like I would imagine that there could be like other playable characters in the main story. Not the flashbacks, but in the like now. The, the, the time period of when the story is actually taking place. Those events, you know, going against uh, Hiroto. And whatnot, like there could be where you jump around between a couple different characters. You know, it's the last Ronin, so obviously the main focus should be the turtle, right? But yeah, there's so much potential here, some possible RPG elements building upon your character. You know, if this played like God of War, that'd be kind of cool. You know, being able to switch on the fly between the different weapons and then how those weapons come into play at the end. Yeah, there's a lot of potential here. But then there's also the potential that this could just be totally screwed. Like, they could just jack this up and it won't be the game that Turtles fans would like, you know? This isn't your, you know, Saturday morning Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon. This isn't Shredder's Revenge. This this isn't the, you know, the collection of arcade games and NES games. This is a very dark and gritty story. A very bloody story with a lot of loss. Like... It, it, it's pretty intense. So I would expect this to get like a, a mature rating or close to it anyway. It would still be awesome if they did a movie, man. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'm excited. I just want to talk about this for a minute. Uh, it, it's, it's an exciting thing. See more turtles. Always more turtles, the better. Let me know what you guys think. Bye.